this headline getting a lot of attention on Wall Street. Day traders at home in this pandemic on inexpensive apps taking on giant Wall Street hedge funds who have bet against struggling companies. Many of those investors at home investing in those struggling companies, forcing the hedge funds to then pay up for shorting the companies. Here's ABC's chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, tonight. Tonight, the New York Attorney General is investigating after a multi-billion dollar bubble on Wall Street burst. It all started as a raging tug of war between a group of young stock enthusiasts who bought shares in struggling companies like GameStop. But the biggest hedge funds in the country were betting GameStop would crash, also known as shorting. By buying the stock, the newcomers helping to push shares of GameStop up 1,700% costing the hedge funds more than $5 billion. But today, several online brokerages decided to restrict trading in companies like GameStop, effectively shutting out the little guys. But tonight, many say they're not giving up. I think the stock is going to go up a lot still, regardless of the new restrictions. You did not sell today? Nope, not a single share. 19-year-old J.P. Hurtado is one of many newcomers, stuck at home in the pandemic, swapping trading tips on Reddit. Until today, he was using the free online platform Robinhood to buy and sell stocks. That is, until they told their users they couldn't buy any more GameStop in light of recent volatility. What did you think of Robinhood's move? Uh, I thought it was pretty unfair and unjust. And now, late tonight, an about face. Robinhood announcing it will reopen limited trading tomorrow, calling it a risk management decision. So let's get right to Rebecca tonight. And Rebecca, as you reported, New York's Attorney General tonight saying she's reviewing concerns about trading on the Robinhood app. We know those at-home investors say they deserve that right to do it. Uh, but you're learning tonight that several members of Congress are now looking into this as well? That's right, David. We've heard many calls from Congress to look into this new territory, these new trading devices. It's important to keep in mind here, the SEC says they are not commenting to ABC News at this time, but the bottom line, this is not saving for retirement. If you are even considering doing this kind of trading, proceed with caution, David. All right, Rebecca Jarvis tonight as well. Thank you, Rebecca.